Welcome everyone, here's another fascinating Lost Gold Parker Brothers Hidden Treasure Game. You have the Gold Finder little tool, you have uh, this interesting, uh, you get pads and gold nuggets there, you get an instruction booklet, and here's kind of how it works with this, uh, showing this kid here. Um, using a special little tool, you can see a gold finding tool on this board. And let's show it here a wee bit. So back in the 1800s, bags of gold. Now it's your turn to hunt for the gold um, using... Um, this special little tool, you get these little maps where you record what you found. Of course, that's the game board. So let's move this now away and we'll just get into uh, showing this. It's really cool. Again, I love these kind of things are fun. Why do you want to do boring ESP cards and other things when you can uh, use your psychic abilities this way? So um, what you get here is this cool little uh, booklet to start off with, uh, Legend and Rule. It gives you the legend of the gold hunting with these two, the Lost Gold of Coyote Canyon. It's done in a comic book form. I'm assuming this was done by Marvel or someone else. This is 1970, uh, 70? Oh, 1975 Parker Brothers. So you um, have this little comic book that comes with it, telling the story of the two that uh, actually um, were looking for the gold. So this is the whole legend, how they found it, and then they buried it somewhere in the desert. And of course, it's your job to go and find it. Now it goes into actually a little comic book of how this is used. Now, um, what you do is you hide these little gold nuggets under, uh, you get six of them, three go under your side of the board, three go under the other side uh, if you're going to play this as a game. Uh, so your opponent sets uh, these in the little holes, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you set yours in the little holes, and then you turn the game ar around so that... Um, you don't know where they were placed, and he doesn't know where they placed. Then you're going to use this little finder uh, to actually find the goal. Now, how does this work? You get these little pads, of course, that you record where you've went over the land. It's kind of what you would call a magnetic... Um, battleship so to speak there's advanced methods here here's something that may people who are collectors may be interested in here's some other toys and of course here's the original nerf balls if you're a nerf person this is what came out the football the nerf foop um nerf ball and super nerf ball so how does this work for you psychically and everything else? Now, obviously, this is a game here that's fun in general, but you don't want to play this game as a hunt and pick. Uh, uh, as with everything that we do here, we want to use it as a, an actual uh, psychic tool to train ourselves with. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So you get this really cool board. Let me pull back here a little uh, so we can see the board better. Gets a little more light in here. Okay, that should help a wee bit. So you get this real cool board. It's a plastic board. It's got these inserts. But let me show you what's underneath here, which is um, what you do. So you open it up, and it has these little um, holes here. And it has these things right here, which is the gold. It actually says gold on them. Let me see if I can uh, show you that better. 
And there's six of them, three for you and three for your op uh, opponent. But you don't use it that way, the way, the way we're going to do it. Uh, there's a couple of ways to actually do this um, by yourself, but someone could come in. What we're going to do is only use one side of this uh, for our psychic empowerments. So these have to go in here, which then serve as the magnets that kind of trigger this cool little uh, device here, this mind sweeper. Now, one way you can do this is actually cover this and then kind of roll these in here and try and get them to go in the actual holes and, and mess with it like I just did. So you can do it yourself. Now they've fallen in holes. Let's open this up and show it to you. You can see how these have fallen in holes, but you don't really know where those were because you didn't. So you can do it yourself or you can have somebody come and set this up for you. Um, do it a day or two ahead of time so you don't remember what was in there. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to do it. As I said, there's two of these because you could do it with somebody else and you could do this psychically with somebody else and find out who can find these psychically the best. Now, what you use here is this little gold finder. Now, this means that uh, if you put it down on a square here and there's no magnet underneath it, it stays like this. So this is what's so fun about this. But when you go over a magnet, this will change to red. I believe there is one here. Yeah, see how that changed to red? Let me see if that'll stay. Yes, can we see in there? A little bit hard to see. Let me get enough light in there. But it's actually red. That means uh, there was a magnet where I placed that down because I knew that I had one over here. And of course, that's exactly what you do. Then you just reset this uh, by just twisting it a little bit. You have this cool little gold finder tool. And you want to do the same. You know, the, all of these games are kind of similar that you do psychically. It's the whole idea is to have several of them so they're fun to do. Um, and this is a real fun one because it's... Um, you have this magnet, you have this cool board. Again, this is psychically stimulating. Um, I saved this little piece of magnet here because if you use the uh, backside of that, it actually resets it for you. Um, so now it is reset, and of course you can even close this if you want to, so you don't know. And that, I mean, that's how the game is played. Um, but, again, we're not using it in the traditional kind of average way. So what you want to do, again, is the usual search, um, energy search. So here's an energy search, which is good because you're picking up two things, kind of these metal magnets. Um, again, this is what remote viewing is done. You're just doing this on a very small uh, uh, basis here. Uh, but you want to go through each square. You know, again, you use your left hand. Is it here? And you can go through, you can uh, do it generally or be very systematic about it. It really depends on um, how you want to go through this. But you want to find the magnet. So you feel, well, I feel it's here or here. Now, um, so the whole idea is that you, you're touching it to feel. Do you feel something? Are you sensing the magnet? So you want to sense these uh, little changes in energy.